Rolls-Royce, new biggest engine in the world. Great news for aircraft lovers, Rolls-Royce announced that the construction of its ultrafan technology demonstrator has been completed and that testing is now underway. An important program milestone was reached when the demonstrator engine was moved from the workshop where it was built to where it has just been mounted for testing. Estimated to be the world's largest turbofan, Rolls-Royce would start testing the prototype of its ultrafan engine, which has been designed to be up to 25% more efficient than its first-generation Trent engines. The ultrafan's first test is expected to take place in early 2023 and will be done using 100% sustainable aviation fuel, which is oftentimes made with waste cooking oils and animal fat. As it is, airliners will continue to burn hydrocarbon fuels into the foreseeable future, and there's no clean alternative yet that can give anywhere near the range and endurance of current long haulers. So Rolls-Royce is planning to change the game by developing its next-generation ultrafan engine. What is the ultrafan, and why is Rolls-Royce investing so much into this engine? Well, the ultrafan will be the world's largest jet engine when complete. This giant blue-bladed turbofan would be the first of what will become a whole family of engines for narrow and wide-body aircraft, ranging in size from 25,000 pounds to around 100,000 pounds. The technology for the ultrafan could be scaled down for other programs, including any return by the British company to the narrow-body plane market. The demonstrator's 140-inch diameter fan is nearly 5% bigger than the current biggest engine in the airliner class. With a small increase in diameter, though, this becomes a pretty decent increase in swept area. A critical part of the engine's performance will be its crazy power gearbox, which transmits more power than an entire grid of Formula One cars when moving at maximum speed. The engine boasts carbon titanium fan blades rather than the hollow titanium fan blades on the Trent engines, as well as a record-breaking 64 megawatt power gearbox. The ultrafan engine is part of Rolls-Royce's intelligent engine project. Each fan blade, for example, has a digital twin that stores real-life test data, allowing engineers to predict in-service performance. To make the ultrafan, Rolls-Royce makes use of a new robot-controlled 3D composite manufacturing process, which is now able to produce the complex shapes needed for the aerodynamics of fan blades. For the leading edges of the fan blades, titanium is still the engineer's pick, but the rest is carbon composite. This makes the fan much lighter than the full titanium fans used in Rolls-Royce's Trent-class engines. Well, the light weight of the fan is the key reason why Rolls-Royce has been able to build the engine this big, but for smaller aircraft, the engine would basically free up weight for extra payload and passengers. The ultrafan also runs a planetary power gearbox between the compressors at the back of the fan, so the compressors can run at their optimal higher speed, while the fan can run at its optimal slower speed. In earlier testing, the gearbox handled about 65 megawatts of power, which is another aerospace record. Although the fan has an enormous diameter, the turbines inside are kept fairly compact, and Rolls-Royce's engineers have made sure a large volume of the air goes around the compressor core and straight out the back of the engine, as against being channeled through the core of the engine to drive the compressors. This creates a high bypass ratio, which helps cut down noise by an impressive 35% and gives the engine a reasonable boost in fuel efficiency. Rolls-Royce says the ultrafan engine will use about a quarter less fuel than its first-generation Trent engines, making it longer range, cheaper to run, and better for the environment. Also, the engine captures NOx emissions more efficiently, reducing them by around 40% and, more or less, eliminating particulate emissions altogether. The ultrafan is designed to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel to begin with, and Rolls is also looking into hydrogen combustion and hybrid electrification in the drive toward full decarbonization. As well as working to better the efficiency of gas turbines, Rolls-Royce is working on nascent hydrogen and hybrid electric technologies to power commuter and regional aircraft. Now that its first tech demonstrator is fully assembled, it's gone to the company's brand new $108 million Testbed 80 facility in Derby, UK. This is the largest and smartest test facility in the world, designed and built specifically around the needs of the Ultrafan engine test program. It was opened in 2020 and has already completed many hours of experimental engine testing. 
Over 3,000 parameters of instrumentation will be present during the UltraFan testing program. Here, the team will put it through several tests as development continues. The Testbed 80 facility will collect data from more than 10,000 parameters detecting the tiniest of vibrations at a rate of up to 200,000 samples per second, helping to further understand and improve the engine. Further testing on the low temperature availability of the engine will be conducted in Rolls-Royce's Global Aerospace Center for Icing and Environmental Research facility in Manitoba. There have been significant investments to develop the UltraFan demonstrator. The investments have, of course, come from Rolls-Royce and a variety of funding agencies, including the Aerospace Technology Institute and Innovate UK, the EU's Clean Sky Joint Undertaking, and Germany's Lufo G. According to Rolls-Royce, there were options to transfer technologies from the program to its current Trent engines to deliver greater fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. In the longer term, Rolls-Royce hopes that its ultra-fan tech could power both new narrow-body and wide-body aircraft that are anticipated in the 2030s. Rolls-Royce Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng said the ultra-fan did some good for growth and jobs in the UK. In June 2021, the company announced that it would pay thousands of staff an extra £2,000 to help with their cost of living crisis. More than 14,000 workers at the aerospace giant's UK sites in Bristol and Derby will receive the payment. Also, around 3,000 workers will receive the lump sum in August, while 11,000 union workers will also be paid. Recently, the company swung back into the black with profits of 124 million, having suffered a 3.1 billion loss a year earlier. Well, according to the company, the UltraFan project will be put on ice after the testing, with no further investment until Boeing or Airbus launch a new aircraft program. Taking the UltraFan engine into testing is no doubt a massive milestone for the company. The next stage will now be to see the UltraFan run for the first time on 100% sustainable aviation fuel in 2023, proving the technology is ready to support more sustainable flights in the future. Well, while it's not quite completed, the UltraFan would be a pace setter in the world of flight engines and might just change the game forever. Thanks for joining us today. If you liked what you saw here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time.